channel. I am Harshita. Today we are going to be discussing about plants as source of food and moreover this video is more useful for 6th graders. So let's get started. The more we know about plants and the food we obtain from it, the healthier we will become. There is so much to learn about plants people eat. Sometimes people who don't know something can make a mistake. For example, mushrooms. Some mushrooms are poisonous while some are not. People need to know which are the poisonous ones so they don't eat it. Plants are mainly multicellular organisms. Yes, multicellular. Now, what do we mean by multicellular? Multicellular. Having two or more cells. The organisms having two or more cells are referred to as multicellular organisms. Now, when um, we eat plants, we get energy from the plants, right? Actually, plants are the sources of food for the human beings. So, when we eat the edible plants, we get energy. They provide us with energy. Now, from where do they get energy? Green plants obtain their energy from sunlight via photosynthesis. Now, photosynthesis. Let's see the definition of photosynthesis. First, I want uh, to divide this word into two. Let me split this word into two. Photo and synthesis. Now, photo means light and synthesis means putting together. The meaning of photosynthesis is converting Sunlight into energy. The process of converting sunlight into energy is known as photosynthesis. Who does this photosynthesis? The chloroplasts do this photosynthesis. Chloroplast. Chloroplast. Chloroplasts are unique structures present in plant cell. Convert. unique structures present in the plant cell. They are specialized in converting sunlight to energy which is useful for the plants. Now, do you know how many species of plants are available on this earth? Total number of species of plants. There are nearly 320,000 species of plants available on the earth. Three 20,000 species of plants available on this earth. Do you know how many of these produce seeds? Number of seed 
producing species of plants. How many of them produce seeds? There are 260 to 290,000 species of plants which produce seeds. I'm writing here, okay? Um, for the, the arrow, I'm writing here. 260 to 290,000. Thousand. I'll write it numerically like this. Two, two, nine, zero. Two sixty thousand to two ninety thousand of seed producing species of plants are available on this earth. Do, oh, actually, we need oxygen to live. Main thing is oxygen. We need oxygen to live. Do you know who provides us with a substantial proportion of oxygen, molecular oxygen? The green plants. Yes, the green plants. The green plants provide us with a substantial proportion of the molecular oxygen and are the basis of most of the Earth's ecosystem. There are many plants in this Earth and there are a variety of their uses. They are helpful for us in many ways. They provide us with the life-giving oxygen which is really important for our existence and for in another important thing which is food food is also very important for our existence we eat almost all parts of the plants these parts are known as edible parts of the plants there are six edible parts of the plants six types of edible parts of the plants which are the fruits the stem the leaves flowers fruits and seeds roots we eat fruits in form of carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip, etc. Actually, roots are of two types. The two types of roots are taproot and fibrous roots. In some plants like carrot, turnip, beetroot, and radish, the root system consists of a main root called the taproot and its branches. The taproot grows vertically down to the soil and then gives out smaller branches. These smaller branches are called lateral roots. In some plants like wheat, maize, sugarcane, and banana, there is no main root. A number of roots arise in a cluster below the stem and spread out in the soil. Such roots are called as fibrous roots. So. These are the lateral roots which come out of the main root. This is the main root and these are the lateral roots which come out of it. In case of fibrous roots, it's just like a cluster down below. It forms a network. It doesn't have a main root as the tap root has. Stem. We eat stem in form of sugar cane, ginger, potato, asparagus, etc. Leaves. We eat leaves in form of spinach, cabbage, amaranthus, onion, etc. Here, look at the word onion. Most of the uh, people, like most of us, keep pronouncing this as onion. Onion. It is not onion, but it is onion. Please pronounce this as onion. Now we eat flowers of pumpkin. We eat the pumpkin. And it is the flower of a squash plant. It's the flower of squash plant. Squash plant. Then cauliflower. Cauliflower is a cool season crop which belongs to the cabbage family. Some type of roses are also edible. Fruits. Mango. We all know that there are different fruits. Mango, apple, banana. Watermelon, pineapple. Okay, there are lots of many fruits. Tomato. Now you must be thinking, tomato is a vegetable, and why is this girl saying tomato is a fruit? Yes, if you take in a scientific mode, tomato is a fruit of a plant. 
in a scientific mode. Actually, we generalize things. We people just categorize this as vegetables. But if we see in a scientific mode, this is the uh, fruit of a plant. Even if you see tomato, potato, we say potato is a vegetable. But in scientific mode, potato is a stem of the plant. In vegetables, we eat different parts of the plant. Because, see, I told you stem, potato. We eat stem here, this is a vegetable. Onion, leaf. We eat onion as leaf. That's how, you know, we all just uh, commonly call these as vegetables. Just common name. But if we look in the very scientific mode, this is onion. Onion is the leaf of a plant. Onion. And potato is the stem of a plant. Right? Now let me take almond for you. You must again be wondering why this girl is saying almond. Yes, almond is a fruit of a tree called Prunus dalki or Prunus amygdalus. Uh, inside that almond fruit, almond seeds are there. Cashew fruit. Cashew fruit is grown on trees called Anacardium occidentale. Want me write the name? Anacardium. Okay, it is no problem. I'll give you the name, Anacardium occidentale. Inside the cashew fruit, the cashew seeds are there. And do you know, in India, cashew fruits are sold on cards. What they do is, they cut these cashew fruits, they sprinkle some salt and chili powder, which tastes really great. And if you just take a bite of it, you'll feel like, wow, what a very tasty evening snack. <laughs> Really, it will be really tasty, believe, uh, tasty, believe me. Seeds. Almond. As I told you, the almond seeds are in the almond fruits. So, uh, as some fruits like apple have seeds, right? Such way, almond fruits also have seed, which is called an almond, which we eat. Most of, the, uh, most of us think that almond is a nut. Cashew is a nut, and walnut is a nut. They're not nuts. They are seeds. They are seeds. Now, usual nuts are like pine nuts, chestnuts, the real nuts, like to pine nuts, chestnuts. Right? These are the seeds of fruits. Even walnut has a fruit. Even walnut is a seed of a fruit. And and same cashew is the fruit of the cashew fruit, is the seed of the cashew fruit. And some oil seeds such as mustard oil, mustard seed, or sunflower seeds, or something like that. Okay, so that's up today for today. But yeah, I forgot to tell you about one thing. From uh, today, we're developing some extra miles for you. Extra mile means adding uh, some extra points which are out of syllabus. So every up from this video. In every video, you'll be getting an extra mile, one or more than one extra mile. So, bye friends. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to our channel, the red button. Click the notification bell to stay tuned for my next video, which is Plants a Source of Food Part 2. This is Part 1. Part 2 is coming soon. So, please be notified by clicking the notification bell and share this video as I shared my knowledge with you. Share this video with your friends and family and people you know. It is very useful. Comment down below and I told you in the first video if you have any doubts you are very free to ask me. You can comment down in the box below. I'll be answering your doubt in my next videos. Extra Mile Why are leaves green in color? Because leaves contain a green color pigment called chlorophyll. Bye friends!